Hello and welcome back to Globe Pravasi. So in today's video, we will understand 10 rules you need to know if you get sick in Germany. So the rule number one is you need to inform your employer before you go to the doctor. Legally, in Germany, you have to inform your employer that you are sick, you are not feeling well before the start of your work day. If you don't do that, then your boss has the right to give you Abmanu. Abmanu is a German word for warning. And if you do it for the second time, then your employer has rights to terminate your contract. Make sure you inform your boss via email or maybe on phone. Because these mistakes has led in the past disputes between employer and sacked employees. So the next one is Know the difference between Krankmeldung and Krankbescheinigung. Many experts get confused between Krankmeldung and Krankbescheinigung. Krankmeldung means notification of sickness which you have to provide your boss on the very first day before you start your work day. Krankbescheinigung means doctor's note of your sickness which is also called as Gelbeschein. This one you need to hand it on the fourth day of your sickness. So the third one is your boss has a right to know. Your employer can request a sick note on the first day when you are not coming to the work. So it is advisable that you go to the doctor and take the sick note on the first day of your illness. So the next one is the Entgelt Fort Zahlung. It is a legal term for your right to payment when you are ill, you are entitled for the six weeks of continuous salary payment. Some employers may grant more than that. You have a right to this payment even if you are a part-time job or if you are doing a mini job. So the only condition is that you have already been in the job at least for four weeks. So the next one is receiving crank guilt. If you are sick longer than six weeks, then your health insurance company will start paying you the crank guild. This money will be 70% of your salary and you have right to receive it for up to 78 months. To get it through, your doctor has to declare you that you are unfit to work. So the next one is knowing your limits. So if you are suffering from burnout or depression, your doctor may advise you to go out. But on the other hand, if you are having flu or something like symptoms, then doctor will advise you to stay inside. So it is recommended to have a letter of permission from your doctor. So if you have any planned activities, so it shouldn't be like that you are uh, telling that you are not feeling well but on the other hand your boss catches you you are uh, traveling outside for no reason next one is saving your holidays if you have already booked a holiday and if you fall sick so then you don't have to worry you will get it back your holidays as long as you inform your employer that you are sick next one is getting sack if an employee keeps on calling that he is not feeling well and he is not able to join the office, then his or her boss does not have rights to sack the employee. If it is supposed to do so, then the legal cost is very high. Your company can cancel your contract if they believe there is no realistic chance that you will get fit to work again. So in that case, they can sack you. So the ninth rule is acting quickly. It does occasionally happen that company will sack an employee for calling off work once too often. If this happens to you and you feel that you have been treated wrongly, then you have to act quickly. You need to file a claim with regional labor court within three weeks of receiving termination of your contract. So the last rule Pulling a sicker. Sicker means fake illness. So it is not at all advisable to attempt for a fake illness. If your employer finds out, then they have right to sack you immediately. So these are the 10 rules you need to know if you get sick in Germany. I hope you found this video useful. 
Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you until next time. Bye bye.